nothing could contribute more to the cure of humanity's ills than to give people a better understanding of economics. Should we get into... Yeah, well, well that leads us into, of course, human action um, behind Sam there. And a lot of people have noticed that. We actually put it up, I think, over a year ago, maybe yeah. longer. And it's been sitting there for a long time. Now, human action is... If there are five books that have changed my life, human action was one of them. And this was a phase we went through... It would have been just after the financial meltdown. So 2008. We were talking about 2008 and I started asking questions to my economist friends who had trained uh, apparently in uh, economics. I never did it and neither did you. We, we didn't do it. We did, you know. We sciences and medicine. Yeah, yeah the, the um, so-called natural sciences, etc. Mm -hmm. And we did some mathematics, but we, neither of us ever did economics. So I had no background training in it. And then we witnessed the financial crisis and we started talking to people who were supposedly experts and they seemed to have no idea. That this was happening or why it happened. No, they didn't really get it. And yeah. um, I said, oh, there must be a, a really good reason for it. And then I started asking about, well, what what book would you read about economics? And people mm. said, well, what do you mean? Do you mean like currency trading, um, equities? What are you talking about? No, I said the principles of economics. And people were giving me blank looks saying, well, you can't just read one book. <laughs> and, Apparently anyway, you can. <laughs> but what I actually read, it was a bit of a roundabout um, way it got there because I read Taleb. Yeah, it was, a black swan. Yeah, the black swan, um, you know, by Nassim Taleb, and he was writing about the financial crisis, and he mentioned, um, you know, guys like Karl Popper and stuff. So I read Karl Popper's work, which led me to um, Friedrich Hayek, which led me to the Austrian School of Economics, you know, of which Hayek was a part. And then, of course, straight from there, I found out about Mises and read. So the first one of the first books I read on economics actually was Human Action. And I don't know if you remember when I was reading it, but in the first hundred pages, <laughs> I, do, yeah. I said to Sam, oh my goodness, I'm going to have to buy another book because I'd read five or ten pages. And you needed to all this backfill to understand what he was saying. He just assumed that you knew about the history of Western philosophy, um, about Greek history, etc. So I ended up buying all these books and Sam was saying, you know, um, <laughs> you, you said it must <laughs> be a on, yeah, yeah. But you thought it must be a great book because yeah. I'm, I'm just talking non-stop about it. Yeah, he was. And, was. and ordering books like There's No Tomorrow. So yes. the first, the book's about 900 pages and the yeah. first 100 pages I had to order four or five books yeah. just to fully understand what he was talking about. And and it was a, a real revelation because, I mean, Sam and I were trained basically with empiricism, you know, the, the scientific method in which you've seen us talk about a lot in the videos that, you know, you have to make hypotheses and then observations, etc., to see if that um, comports with your hypothesis and then try and come up with these theories, etc. And uh, so, you know, in the tradition of David Hume, etc., but then the Austrian school uh, really woke us up to, you know, Kantian philosophy and the fact that you could make these a priori synthetic propositions that you could, um, you know, it was more like a logical pursuit. You could find these self-evident axioms to then explain what you saw. And, um, you know, people would say, oh, this, that's some sort of form of idealism or something. And the, the Austrians and Mises... And, you know, the, the people that came after Mises, like we've also got, um, uh, who else is back there? So, oh, Hans, Hans Hermann Hopper, the, um, one of his books is back there, but we've read lots of his books too. And the, you know, the Austrians that followed Mises basically pointed out that it's not a form of idealism. You can actually, this is a, a pursuit in which you can use pure logic to come to an understanding, mm -hmm. and in particular of human action or or what they call praxeology. So, and um, and Samson, you've never read Human Action, and but you know all about it because I <laughs> well, I talked about it so much, so much yeah. that um, that you started applying praxeology. Yeah, well, I can I have to say I've always done this where I, Mark's tended to be the a, a bigger reader than I am, and he'll 
talk about these things and I end up learning about it just because of him talking about it and ask questions. And I think, but I mean, Von Mises was just such a brilliant man and most people that we've spoken to when Mark says that that was the first book he read <laughs> are just shocked because the it's first so... Book, the first economics book. Economics yeah. book, sorry. It's just, it's a very heavy read and I don't think anyone would recommend to read that first but it was something you like to do trial by fire. <laughs> yeah, totally. And if, if it is, I would totally still recommend human action and uh, understanding praxeology or the the logical uh, science of human action. Yeah. But you can go to the Mises Institute, Mises.org, and yeah. there's uh, so many resources there that you can uh, tap into. And, you know, there are summaries of, um, of human action. Guys like Tom Woods and that um, talk about the stuff make it really easy to understand that's a a big one on the bookshelf yeah. and uh the the thing is there's actually over there which is out of shot that's my workstation over there there's about 50 books on austrian economics and of course there's lou rockwell mark thornton rothbard jo rothbard joe salerno etc so all of these uh great scholars and Sam actually took me to the Mises Institute in 2016 which some of you will be aware of and made some great friends there including meeting Lou Rockwell which was really special and now we've got friends like Michael McKay who is also associated with the Mises Institute and I, I believe Michael's books back here we got one of them there Th this one secrets about money is um has been awesome for our boys, yeah. our, our young boys, to start understanding about the fraud of the monetary system and how, how to learn about wealth and that sort of stuff. And, um, yeah, we always say Michael's amazing. He's written quite a few short books. But yeah. more importantly to us, Michael does the index for our question and answers and has put that together over the years. So that's been awesome and yeah. we always we always give Michael a bit of a shout out so on that same theme do you think we should talk about this the man versus state yeah well man versus state's a much older book by Herbert Spencer again uh, the libertarian uh, type stuff so that um, continues those themes well there's another one there by Titus Giebel uh, free private cities 